not guys, I am about to run out of coffee. Coffee, of all things. I'm sure how that was possible though. I have to go rectify the situation and uh, get more cafe. That's the game plan. I got my sunnies. These are from Airy, by the way. I picked them up recently. I've got it in my head now that if I just see cheap sunglasses that look, that I like and that look like a shape that works for me, I'm just gonna get them because I feel like these are the types of things that will always be at risk of breaking or being lost. So I wanna make sure I have a few in my my collection. Because previously I was just like that person that has like one pair of pretty cheap sunglasses and then when I lose them, I'm like, oh, I'm blind outside. I'm heading outside, so it's extra important that I put this on, although it's always important to put sunscreen on. But I rediscovered this sunscreen by La Roche-Posay. I feel like La Roche-Posay is very known for their sunscreens, but although I've tried them in the past, and I really like them. This version, I don't know which one it is. I mean, I took a picture of it so that I don't forget it, is extra good. Last year I got one that was tinted and I thought I had really liked it, but when I was in Portugal especially, I remember feeling like it pilled a bit when I mixed it with makeup. This one doesn't have any tint to it, but it doesn't leave a white cast. It is so, so nice. I've been using it for about a week now and I'm floored. I'm like, this is exactly what I needed because I feel like if your face sunscreen isn't working for you, it's so hard to, you know, be motivated to use SPF. Visible finish, ultra fluid. It is really ultra fluid though. Put some on my hand. You gotta give it a little shake. And then I always like tap the top so that any of that liquid doesn't come spurting out because it will. And then you, you'll see, oh, fluid. I'm just gonna put this on my hand, but I love it. I'll have it linked down in the description box below, but I've got my bag going here, the keys. What else do I need to go do? Unsure. It's just a beautiful day. It started off really gloomy and now it's all sunny. I'm happy go. Oh. <laughs> just been over to get my shoes and the jeans that I'm wearing right now, I just recently washed. Do you ever feel like when you wash a pair of jeans and wear them for the first time, it's like breaking them in all over again? It feels like I'm wearing a corset, but I know these are comfy jeans once they loosen up, but dang, do they take a minute to loosen. The reason I'm holding up my white sneakers is because I actually just recently cleaned them with this amazing solution. So cue the shot of past Caitlin cleaning the shoes. I have just absolutely lived in these Rubox ever since I got them. I think it's now two years that I've owned these and they're looking a little rough in certain areas by the bottom of the heel and I've never really given them a proper clean just like with some water on a paper towel or something like that but I ended up getting this kit from Amazon. Jason Mark. It comes with a brush and some sort of solution cleaner. I'm gonna try it out. My cousin recommended it to me. So shout out Chloe. And I'm gonna see if I can bring these back to life. The back of the heels are really bad. This is the brush and this is the solution. Fill a bowl with one cup of water and dip the brush. Apply five drops of the solution to bristles, scrub the material, wipe clean with cloth, air dry. Problem right now is my nails are very long. I don't know if you can tell but you can see the tips over those guys and I don't want to ruin that so give me a second. Excellent. It hit me while I was doing not that. I didn't have to even tell you that I was gonna get a device to help me take that off. The device being tweezers. I could have just edited it out but it feels wrong to not act like you're actually here, even though realistically, you're watching something from the past. Oh, this is very messy. I just cleaned this shoe. Ignore the bottoms, we're not cleaning the bottoms. I don't have the willpower to do that. <laughs> but that's that shoe. This is a shoe that's not clean, like look at the difference. The heels, you can really tell a difference. The sides, like look at that. This looks like a brand new shoe. Oh my gosh. This is fantastic. I'm, like really in awe right now. Okay, shoe number two, let's go. Oh my gosh, welcome back. So yeah, these are how they turned out. I'm super impressed. I've already worn them a few times since cleaning them. I feel like this is exactly the freshen up they needed. And I think it's so important too to take care of the stuff that you already own. Because I had been looking at these shoes down at them and being like, oh, maybe I should get a new pair of white sneakers for this spring summer. Which I mean, I could use another pair in a slightly different like style. But so often there's ways to you know, rejudge what you already have, whether it's through cleaning your shoes or fabric shaving or steaming. I don't know, there's lots of hacks online to kind of freshen up loved pieces in your wardrobe. So I'm glad I was able to, because these are genuinely the comfiest sneakers 
that I own. Highly recommend the Princess Sneaker from Reebok. I hope they still make it. It's a very old school style that they, they've had for years because my mom owned a pair of these when she was in her 20s. I wash my hands after touching those Swift, if you never bleed, you're never gonna grow. Okay, so I'm back and I changed into comfy clothes. First place I went to was a shop in Yorkville called Pusateri's. It's like a very, I guess, bougie grocery store. It's very small, but there can be like some specialty items found in it. So I like going when I'm in the area just to see what fun shenanigans I can get up to in there. And one of the things I wanted to pick up was a package of this Sloan tea. It's their flavor Heavenly Cream. It's a creamy, velvety black tea. If you ever have the opportunity to try this tea, I highly recommend it. It's such a unique flavor. I don't even know how to describe it. Oh, I guess they do it for you. Sloan's Heavenly Cream features Cylon and Aeson black tea balanced with notes of bergamot and creamy vanilla. The infusion is bodied and smooth with a velvety linger. A couple weeks ago, my mom and I gave uh, some Sloan teas to my cousin's fiance for her bridal shower it's like a tea themed party so that's a really great gift idea if you want to give someone who loves tea uh, like a fancier tea check these out they also come in these beautiful tins in loose leaf version but it's delicious and i feel like during the spring summer months if i'm gonna have a tea i want something a little bit more exciting and um, i think this one's gonna be good while i was there i also picked up an exciting loaf of bread and then i also just got one can of this Olipop. I've seen this on social media. It is a prebiotic botanical plant fiber soda. There's only three grams of sugar per can. It combines the classic soda you know and love with prebiotics, plant fiber, and botanicals to support your microbiome and digestive health. Finally, a refreshing soda that's actually good for you. I actually picked up a couple from another brand and I found them super sweet except this orange one. I forget what the one's called. I'll have like little images here on the screen. But I'm curious to try this brand out and Tropical Punch sounds delicious. Gotta try this tonight. By Pusateri's, there's also one of my favorite stationery stores in the city, Lay Wines. Again, it's a little bit more of an elevated stationery shopping experience. I always kind of say that if you want the everyday stuff, go try out Madoko. But if you want something special, either as a gift or unique things to look at, because they usually will have stationery brands from around the world they have a lot of great uk products right now and in may they usually always have some sort of sale going on that's kind of an annual tradition for them before they do inventory i didn't go crazy though because realistically like i don't need uh things but i wanted to go check it out and see if there was anything that caught my eye the boring purchase was this little mini pad from menomocene menomocene this was 10 percent off it's just this little pad of grid paper i've gotten the larger notebooks from this brand before it's got this really great smoothness to it I adore it but i just felt like this size is the perfect size to throw in a purse whether it's a big bag or if you just have a smaller bag i like to have some sort of paper and pen on hand because you never know if you have to write down a number for someone or an address or i don't know sometimes things pop up and it's horrible when you don't have a piece of paper this feels like a really great option even smaller than my hand this is the fun purchase it's from a brand called Crispin Finn. If any of you are from the UK and recognize this brand, let me know. I've seen this before and I've left it, but this time it's like, no, you know, this is coming, coming home with me. Oh, I didn't know it came with a pencil. It's this beautiful little pad that looks like when a waiter writes down an order or a receipt to like that kind of retro look. And it has a section to write down a little mini list for the morning, afternoon, evening, urgent tasks tomorrow. And don't forget, this is a great option if you just want to make a to-do list for the day but have it a little bit more structured i was like having little pads like this around and i haven't gotten a new one in quite some time so i just adored this one i think it's so fun one of those uh pads that just looks really beautifully displayed on a desk which I'm always looking for because these are things that are convenient to have out but the staff at lay ones is so so good and i just adore that little shop of course had to hit up nespresso for the coffee 
replenish. My favorite pod from Nespresso that I get all the time that is the one that I pretty much have every day is the sweet vanilla. This is actually a reformulation of the vanilla custard pie and I find I like this one better because it's just a little less sweet. They revamped a few of their pods including the caramel one that used to be caramel cookie and now it's golden caramel. This one's also really good. A lot of sweet vanillas so that I'm good to go. This is my everyday coffee. I picked up some iced Ligeros which is their limited edition I believe only in the summer espresso that is really good. It's meant to be really good over ice and this is great for iced lattes at home. I'm going to be using this for a special dessert tonight. Stay tuned for that. And then this one is like, uh, I don't know about it. It's juicy watermelon over ice. So it's a watermelon flavored coffee that's meant to be served over ice. I am as skeptical as you are, but when I was looking at it, although it sounds disgusting in my brain, I physically could not leave it behind. I'm a sucker for trying a new flavor. So we'll see. I'm really committed. Um, gonna have to find a way to drink this even if it's not great. Uh, but also, Maybe it'll be great. I have a package to unbox. I have no idea what it is. I figure it's something skincare related. Oh, Kate Somerville, look at that. So oh, cool. 30% vitamin C brightening facial. It even comes with a little hair clips so that you can take the, the hair out of your face. I adore. All the products to sit on skin for 20 minutes and then wash off. It's kind of like a vitamin C mask. I am intrigued. Just use it one to two times a week, morning or night. I'm all for the things right now that are gonna brighten my skin. I think that's why like, I'm really getting very focused on my, my sunscreen usage and wanna look into getting a retinol. Uh, I need to start integrating my vitamin C back into my routine. So this is a great little addition. And that's all the fun I had. That was a really fun haul. Coffee, stationery, tea, bread, skincare. Really, like if there was a book in here, it would it'd be the best haul. tonight but I'm also going to make a salad as a side because that is the adulting thing I do now apparently so I've already got my lettuce that's pre-washed I'm not gonna go too crazy because I am having pizza oh my pizza can go in the oven a timer for 40 minutes please truly have not turned on that oven in months I haven't made homemade pizza in a bit is that true I think so I could be lying to you but it's been a bit. That's basically what I'm trying to say. I always use my air fryer slash, I guess, convection oven slash toaster these days. Yesterday night, I roasted some chickpeas and I added smoked paprika, which kind of gives it this barbecue flavor. It's really nice in salads. I actually really liked it warm in the salad. I was telling my mom, I feel like a cold salad with one or two warm ingredients is kind of fun. Strawberries, feta, <laughs> feta. <laughs> funny. We've got two angles happening right now. This camera, this camera, this camera, this camera. The salad is indeed coming along. I'm gonna chop this apple and some cucumber just to finish things off and then do a little dressing. I'm also using my new knife that is from Paderno. I feel like a professional chef with this thing. Look at that glide. Wow. Cucumbers go into the salad. And apple. One slice. Two slices. Three slice, four. Okay, so all the chopping is done now. I just need to make some sort of dressing. I think I'm also gonna have a little bit of a beverage. I'm gonna try this tropical punch. Oh, very on theme for tonight's pizza because I'm getting a lot of pineapple, which I guess makes sense. It is tropical. In the wine glass it will go. Oh yeah, I'm getting real pineapple energy right now. I have a feeling then this is gonna be sweet. Cheers, darling. And cheers to you as well. <laughs> nice. I actually think this would be really great to mix with some sparkling water if you wanted to dilute it a little bit, but it's really, it's a really good one. Is it true that Italians toss salt over their shoulder as like a sign of good luck. I feel like I heard that as a kid and I just took that as fact, but I'm not quite sure. Ever since that day, I I will throw toss, I will throw toss, I will toss salt all the time over my shoulder, just in case. Hey, let me take a fork, stir it up. What's about to go down? Wow. I take my fun tongs and I toss it and voila, salada. Since you've 
had an affogato, which is essentially just espresso and vanilla ice cream. And this is your sign to go make one. Mm. Heavenly. Dust, absolute heaven. Oh,